Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now, if you watch a lot of uh, popular TV networks, you may see a common uh, a common type deal where you're watching something and then somebody disappears. So what I'm going to do is show you within Final Cut Pro 10 how to do that. Now, this is a clip uh, that I filmed in uh, in the West Indies, and you can see here when I play it, it's just waves and a beach, and there's there's not a lot of activity there. But if you scroll over you'll see me. So you see, I start walking right there. And then I walk down the beach. So what if I want to make myself disappear instead of continuing to walk all the way down? What if I want to make myself disappear around right there? So here's how I do it. I'm going to position my my line right here within the, uh, within the project. And then I'm going to do trim blade. And what that's going to do is put a marker right there. So this part of the video where I continue to walk on, see I don't care about that because what I want to do is make myself vanish when I'm standing right there. So I'm going to delete the rest of this clip. Then what I'm going to do is look at the waves and some environments are easier to do this in than others because there's less motion. But if you look at this, you can get a, a, a rough feel as to where the waves are. They're, they're about right there, so the water's not all the way up. So the objective is to find another part of the clip without me in it. So what we're going to do is go back, and then I'm just going to do a blade here. And then I'm going to look at this again. So we can see the waves or the the surf that's coming in is about right there. So we want to find that somewhat precise moment. So this right here is pretty close. See that? See how the waves are there? What we're going to do now is do a blade here. And then we're going to drag this over to the end of this. So what we want to see now is that see when see the water there. It's pretty close. So we, when we do we drag this cross dissolve effect over between these two. We can delete this first part. So what we're going to do now we're going to watch and what we should see is a somewhat convincing disappearing act. And see, that was pretty convincing. We'll, we'll watch it again here. See? The waves were pretty much uh, pretty, pretty closely lined up. So obviously, if you're doing this and you don't have motion like waves, it's um, it'll be easier to do. So the the way to think of it is just have a camera on a tripod like I have now, just filming whatever environment, and then walk through it or send whatever subject through the frame that you want to have disappear. And then you could do what I just did and you know edit the video and and put in some of that other part of the action instead where, where there's not a subject in it. And that enables you to make somebody vanish. So I hope that's a cool tip. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And enjoy all of my other Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials also. And if there's something you would like me to address in an upcoming video, I'm not, I don't consider myself to be a Final Cut Pro expert. But with that said, I have created a lot of videos and I know, I know, the way, I know how to accomplish some of the seemingly complicated tasks in, in what will likely be a simplistic fashion. So if I can help, just shoot me a message. And thanks for your viewership. Y'all have a good day.